the Skywatcher Heritage 130p flex tube uh, uh, already does come with its own little constructions manual but uh, I just thought I'd run through it uh, with you myself and by the way uh, folded down just 46 centimeters so ideal if you're putting in your car so I've already obviously taken it out of the box I've removed the, the top protective layer and I've put the eyepieces and accessories to one side which I shall come on to shortly so first of all we need to remove this bottom part here that helps uh, protect the base and this by the way it is a dovetail mount uh, so you can put it on many uh, Skywatcher equatorial mounts should you wish to uh, upgrade at a later date so you've got this little knob here that you simply slacken off and that will allow you to lift the tube up keeping your hand under it at all times because you don't want it to suddenly slide down so lift it up tighten that again and now we can safely remove this and so lens cap removed and so to extend it what you will notice on the opposite side here another little knob here that you can slacken off and then move the scope like so moves very freely tying it into position uh, keeping it protect held all the time with the other hand just in case it was to fall down and and to I'll show you on an image down here you can slacken off here and here to still see me extend out now what you can do when you put the eyepieces on uh, is to get this so it is nicely balanced and so if imagine that all the accessories are on just slacken it off and just yeah that's a bit back heavy so it needs to be more forward and so as I showed you earlier you will slide the tube across just to make it balance that bit better it's a bit back heavy at the moment when it's got the eyepieces in uh, that that uh, will, will level it out and so that is how free easy and uh, free this telescope is to use and just by tightening that up you can adjust the tension and it stays very very nicely in place and so that's just a quick demo on how to still see me uh, set the OTA up and now I'm going to show you how to put in the eyepieces and the fighter scope and give a few little hints and tips along the way so I'll see you very shortly uh, just a, a quick bit of advice that I forgot to mention in the first part uh, I, I mentioned when you're dropping it down through the dovetail to keep your hand underneath the OTA to stop it dropping down the same applies for when you slacken off to fold it back up again hold, hold this at all times because you don't want it to suddenly drop down and damage any of the optics and so what we'll do now we'll just get a little bit closer to the scope itself and show you how to put on the finder scope and the eyepieces the eyepieces that you get are 26 sorry 25 millimeters and 10 millimeters giving 26 and 65 magnification now all you do here with the eyepiece holder is to slacken off these two grub screws which I've done already drop the eyepiece in and tighten up and that is it now you'll notice there's no it's not what you call a traditional focuser it's a helical focuser so you basically screw it in like that focus it like that you see uh, it's a bit of a love-hate uh, design some people like it some people don't and you may notice there's just a little bit of play there and uh, a great bit of advice that I saw from somebody else was that you can put some PTFE tape around the thread and that seems to uh, solve the problem I'll come on more about uh, different eyepieces you can get and a little bit of a, uh, advice uh, very shortly so next what we'll do we'll uh, put on the finder scope 
The finder scope you get is a just a, a standard red dot finder that you find with the majority of Skywasher scopes. And all you do is there's just a couple of little Phillips screws there. Slacken those off first and it simply, he says, slides into position. And then tighten those two grub screws, uh, those two Phillips screws there again and it's all set to go. Then all you need to do is align the finder scope. I'll not go into detail with that at the moment. Uh, there is, uh, it does give uh, instructions in the booklet that you get with it and also there are a number of uh, YouTube videos out there showing you how to uh, set up a finder scope. And so that's a, a quick look uh, around how to put the finder scope and the eyepieces on. And so finally we'll just have a, a quick uh, summary. So that's just a, a quick look around uh, the Skywatch Heritage 130p, how to set up. Uh, I've got it folded up at the moment just to, so I can get it all in shot. And so this is a Newtonian reflector. And so the image will be upside down and back to front, but but you will soon get used to that, believe me. And the planets and stars are round anyway, so and uh, so you do get a lot for your money. And so I mentioned the eyepieces 26 and 65 times. Now this is not a planetary telescope. Yes, you will see the main two cloud belts on Jupiter, the four moons. You'll see the rings around Saturn. You'll see Venus and Mercury as disks, uh, as you will Mars, but very, very small. And you'll also see the crescents of Venus. But it's not a planetary scope. This is more for wide field observing, if you like looking at rich field star clusters, bringing out the colours of stars much more, uh, lots of double stars, and from dark skies, uh, star clusters, uh, the brighter nebula, and galaxies. And reality check you won't see galaxies like Hubble. Uh, believe me some people see the images online and think that's what it's going to be like through the eyepiece. Galaxies through most uh, star scopes like this will be as we te technically call a fuzzy blob and but the fact that you can see something so many hundreds and thousands of light years away believe me is ama an amazing experience so Get one of these, put it in the back of your car if you do live in the cities, if you live in a village, uh, all well and good. Get out there under the dark skies. Oh yeah, and comets as well, passing comets. Uh, and uh, enjoy some lovely wide field views of the heavens. Uh, yes, I know a lot of people are drawn in by the planets and the moon, but there is the other 99.99% of the sky that I find much more rewarding. So link to purchase uh, in the description below. Obviously you are supporting our channel by doing so. As always I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.